Hey everybody, welcome back out to Trigger Bar Philosopher. Super excited today. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Flux Raider X. It's made, it's a pistol caliber carbine chassis for the P320. Let's get to shooting. Okay, so what are we talking about with this Flux Raider X? We're talking about a chassis system that allows you to put the slide of your P320 into a pistol caliber carbine chassis that's very lightweight, that's very concealable, and could really be useful when you are looking for just a little bit of extra defense, a little bit more stability uh, when you are shooting, a little bit more accuracy, a little bit more capability when you're out and about, but you know, things in the world are still to the point where you're not carrying your rifle around. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's see what we can do. All right, why don't we go over to the tabletop and just take a look at this bad boy. You can tell I have my P320X5 Legion slide on top. I have an Armory Craft threaded barrel on it so that I can run it suppressed. This is their X version of the Flux Raider. Has a little bit more texture in the magwell. Has, you know, just a little bit better features. Um, some of the chassis is a little bit more reliable, a little bit more uh, robust, if you will say. Some of you might be wondering, what is this? This is a sling from Tactical Doughboy. It's a one point to two point sling. I really like that for these sort of PCC. Um, it's not, the gun isn't really, in my opinion, long enough to do two points. And so I really want something that's one point that just kind of allows you to go hands free for a little bit. But in this case, this sling, you can use the quick detach to pull that out and then you can click it in back here. And then you really do have a two point sling type system. Uh, perhaps you want a little bit more stability uh, in that manner. So, yeah, so I like to run it in the one point configuration, but this tactical doughboy sling uh, gives you some options. But for now, let's get to shooting. Okay, we have a target downrange at about 10 yards. Hopefully, Hall can hear this, and I'm sorry there is a lot of wind going on, but you know, some of the worst days on the range are the best days to film. So, we have our target downrange. We see how well we can shoot when we have sort of this uh, system very well stabilized. We'll just shoot four or five rounds. Okay, as you can see, you can get a pretty tight group going. Is it possible for you to do that with a handgun? I think so, but why don't we pace these up and let's move back to 25 yards. Okay, we have those pasted up. We have target down range of 25 yards and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I think that's a significantly better grip, significantly better shot zone than what you can get with when you're just sanding there. You certainly are more stabilized and I think that that is the main advantage of this system. You aren't getting any additional barrel length than you are just with your normal handgun. I think they'll probably performance wise, you'll see about the same. You do get a little bit more heads up dot it's a bit bigger of a, of a reticle that you can have on here. Certainly you can have a buttons mounted light, you can have some other features, but again, you can have a lot of that on your pistol. But what this just gives you is just a little bit more stabilization in a very compact package. So you can see when this thing is all said and done and it's all down, it is a very slim package. One that can be concealed and brought into the action in a very quick manner should things get turned south and you need just a little bit more stabilization and firepower than you would with your regular pistol. Let's keep shooting in some other areas. Now we're back here at 45 yards. And let's see what this can do. Uh, shooting at about 45 yards.
yeah, I don't, I don't think I can get that many hits at 45 yards with a pistol, but certainly I think this adds a lot of capability to, and different options for you to consider when you are setting up your loadout for concealed carry, when you're setting up your loadout for personal protection. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the Flux Raider X with the P320 chassis. One, it's not giving you anything more. So it doesn't give you any better ballistics. It doesn't give you anything that you can't do with your pistol already. It is bigger than your pistol, right? They do make holsters for these. So, I mean, you could carry it, but it's not like you're gonna really be carrying it in your appendix. I think they have versions and they have, I've seen ones where they cut off the top of this and, and, they, and they use it that way. And I have seen people try and conceal carry their appendix carry it, but you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that. Uh, so I think that there, this is a good option. Where I see it in a role is, especially let's say there is some type of catastrophic event where you're trying to get out of a certain area and you really don't want to be lugging around or have your big AR-15 out uh, that's super visible, and but yet you want this accessible. So this can easily be tucked under a coat, uh, under some clothing, under a hoodie, uh, and, and you still have it if you need it. I would still have my uh, sidearm or my pistol on, on the ready. You know, I wish that they made them in Glock. I was just about ready to sell this X5 Legion. Uh, it has not been super accurate for me. I got this Armory Craft barrel and it's a little bit more accurate, but for some reason I don't shoot the P320 super well. So it's not a system that I am, I have a lot of, this is the only P320 that I have. And so when you talk about mag compatibility and other things, you might want it with your, with your you know, CCW uh, uh, sidearm to have mag compatibility with it. You know, and, and I'm just not interested in that with the P320. I know a lot of people love the P320. It's, it's just something that hasn't necessarily been for me. But the, what <laughs> caused me to keep it was this chassis system. And this will have a role uh, in my home defense and my self-defense, uh, personal preservation, family preservation plan. And, and I have a role for it already uh, loaded out. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the Flux Raider X. If this is something you're interested, if it's not, tell me why. P320s suck, P320s are awesome. Let me know in the bottom and let's ha in the comment section below, let's have it out. I appreciate everybody coming in to watch. I hope everyone had fun today. Let's have a great day and let's get to shooting.